The SNP leader wants UK legislation to cover Scotland despite previously moaning about alleged interference from ministers in devolved areas. Victims of the Post Office Horizon scandal will see right through Hamza Yousaf petty posturing on the issue of mass exonerations, according to the Scottish Tories. The First Minister said on Wednesday that the UK government should include Scotland in its horizon. The legislation will quash the convictions of sub-postmasters as a result of faults with the post office IT system in England and Wales. Scotland's Lord Advocate Dorothy Bain has already said she opposes a blanket exoneration. Mr Yousaf, who has previously criticised the UK government for apparently interfering in devolved areas, claimed he was greatly disappointed the bill was not UK-wide. But Scottish Conservative Shadow Justice Secretary Russell Findlay said, Post office victims will see right through this petty posturing from Hamza Yousaf. He should know that his government's most senior law officer has said that she opposes a blanket exoneration. And he should also know that all prosecutions in Scotland were conducted by the Crown Office under the distinct Scottish legal process. Instead of trying to pass the buck, and stoke yet more constitutional grievance, he needs to get on with delivering justice for Scotland's post office victims. Ms Bain, the top legal advisor to the Scottish Government, previously raised concerns over a mass exoneration as not all convictions were In a statement to Holyrood earlier this year, she said, not every case involving Horizon evidence will be a miscarriage of justice and each case must be considered carefully and with regard to the law. But both Mr Yousaf and Justice Secretary Angela Constance criticised the UK government's position on Wednesday. More than 700 sub-postmasters were prosecuted by the post office and handed criminal convictions between 1999 and 2015 as Fujitsu's faulty Horizon IT system made it appear as though money was missing at their branches. Around 100 post office sub-postmasters in Scotland were among those convicted after being wrongly accused of embezzling money. Mr Yousaf said, We have been working on Scottish-specific legislation. I've been having regular discussions with the Cabinet Secretary for Justice and Home Affairs. He added, The difficulty of course with Scottish-specific legislation is we'll have to wait to see the details of UK-specific legislation, not just when it's introduced but as it gets amended through the UK parliamentary process. If we have legislation which diverges significantly, that could have an impact on compensation that sub-postmasters here in Scotland could get access to and of course we don't want that. Some reports suggest the UK bill may not be passed until July, which would mean the Scottish Parliament would be in recess and unable to pass its own legislation until MSPs return in September. Speaking in the House of Commons on Wednesday, Post Office Minister Kevin Hollenrake pledged to work with the administrations in Edinburgh and Northern Ireland.